hello from Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Tonight, we're having dinner at one of the most popular restaurants at Walt Disney World. So let's go eat. And of course, I am talking about Ohana. Ohana is an all-you-can-eat, family-style Polynesian feast. It used to be my favorite restaurant at Walt Disney World, but it's kind of slipped off my radar recently. Um, so let's see if it can be brought back up to the top of my dining list here at Disney World. As soon as you walk into the Polynesian, you are greeted with all of the tropical vibes. I love coming to this resort, and I'm excited to be here for dinner tonight. I actually spent the day in Magic Kingdom today. We had a great time. It was really busy, um, but we decided to come over to the Polynesian for dinner and see if we were able to get on the walk-up list here at Ohana. And we were able to. It's still pretty early. It's about, it's, it's before five o'clock. So if you come before five, you might be able to get on that walk-up list just like we did. And it said it's only a 15 minute wait, which is amazing. Usually this restaurant is so hard to find a reservation for, even if you're making them 60 days out. So um, that walk-up list is always an option for you. If there's a restaurant you really wanna dine at but weren't able to get a reservation for, always just show up, try it out. Sometimes you'll, they'll be able to accommodate you, other times they won't. But if you were interested in dining at Ohana but either didn't wanna spend the $60 that it costs to eat there, or you weren't able to get a reservation, there is another option for you. Right next to the restaurant here, they have the Tambu Lounge. It's an awesome place to grab some beverages. But a little hack that you might not know is that they serve a lot of the dishes that they serve at Ohana here at the lounge as well. Now the Tambu Lounge that I was just pointing out, they serve the wings, the pot stickers, the famous noodles, and of course, that bread pudding as well over there. As well as the very famous drinks, Back Scratcher and that Lapu Lapu, which is you might know as the pineapple drink that you see everyone drinking in a pineapple. Um, but you could get that all at the Tambu Lounge. So like I said, if you can't find a reservation or you didn't want to spend the money to eat at Ohana, you could always go over there and get yourself all those things. And I am joined by my brother, Ron and my, my mom. Now this is a family favorite restaurant. We came here every single time that we came on vacation as a child and we haven't been coming recently because it, we've been a little disappointed the last couple of times we've been. But I think my mother is hopeful that we'll have another good meal. What What is your favorite part of the meal at Ohana? Pot stickers. The pot stickers. And the, and the, I mean, I love the bread pudding. Yeah, those are the two highlights for me as well. Ryan, have you ever eaten at Ohana? Many times, come on. Okay, what's your favorite part of the meal? Uh, bread pudding. Bread pudding, yeah, it's so good here. Oh yeah. We'll go over the full menu in just a little bit, but the highlights for me are definitely the same as Ryan and my mom. The pot stickers are so, so good. I always eat a ton of them, and the bread pudding, of course. You cannot go wrong with Ohana bread pudding. It is so delicious. Actually, one of the best desserts at Disney World. And would you guys just look at this view, the big open lawn. You can see the pool there. It's such a beautiful pool. The ferry boats in the distance over there. Actually, not the ferry boat, the resort boat. And then, I'm not sure if you could see, but just just above those trees is the castle. And as we were taking in those Polynesian views, they actually called our table. So this wait list was a total success. We are just entering the restaurant and it already smells insane in here. It smells very pineapple-y. And now as we get even further, I'm starting to smell all of those meats that are grilled over the open fire right over here. Hi. <laughs> Now I came here just a few days after they reopened from COVID and I was super disappointed in the meal. Do you guys remember when they had, they got rid of the noodles and they brought, they brought, what did they bring? What was it? Rice. Maybe, so, maybe some rice and then they brought that shrimp instead of on the skewer. They brought it in like boiled in a sauce and it wasn't that good. Um, I've come back a couple times since then. It definitely did get better because I changed a lot of those things back to the OG classics. Um, but I'm super excited because it's really been so long. We used to come here all the time. But now that we're sitting down, let me walk you through our meal. So for $59, it's $59 for adults and $38 for children to dine here at Ohana. Like I said, Polynesian all you care to enjoy family style feast. So everything is gonna be brought to your table. You're started with a mixed green salad with citrus vinaigrette and then the signature Ohana bread that has a honey butter and there's actual honey on the butter. They just put it on the table so I can see it and it looks really good. I'll show you guys that in a second. 
then for your little appetizers, I guess you can say, you are given some honey coriander chicken wings and then some pork dumplings tossed in garlic chili sauce. Those are the best, I love them. And then finally, the Ohana dinner skillet. It has, I'm reading this off of my phone so I don't mess it up. It has wood fire grilled teriyaki beef, spicy peel and eat shrimp, love those as well, grilled chicken with Polynesian inspired chimichurri sauce, and then the famous Ohana noodles and roasted veggies. Those Ohana noodles go hard, you guys know that. And then for dessert, you finish off your meal with some Ohana bread pudding served with vanilla ice cream and homemade caramel sauce. So here's that salad with the citrus vinaigrette. It looks like it's got some kale, some fresh veggies in there. And then the citrus vinaigrette. I always do really enjoy this salad dressing. I think it's delicious. And then right over here, you can see that honey butter. And there is legit honey poured right over that butter. It looks so good. And then the Ohana bread. I'm pretty sure it's like a pineapple coconut bread. It's a sweet bread. So if you're into that kind of thing, you'll, you'll really enjoy this. My mother is doing the honors, pouring the salad dressing on the salad. Good pour? That's a better job than I can. <laughs> uh oh, the chicken wings. Oh, those pot stickers. Domain noodles, pork dumplings, honey ground the wing, and coffee. Enjoy. Thank you. This is what I'm here for right here. Right behind me, this guy's actually playing the ukulele, serenading us with his tropical music. And I love it in here. Now you guys know how I feel about stuff coming out while we still have stuff on the table. I wish it, they, they waited a little bit to bring us that stuff, the pot stickers, and the noodles, and the chicken wings. I still haven't eaten any bread or salad, but we're gonna get into that first before we get into the other stuff. I have buttered these buns, and I can't wait to try these buns. Very, very sweet. The bread is so good though. It's so soft on the inside. It's almost like a dessert. It's like a, a dessert bread, but it's really good. At Ohana, non-alcoholic drinks are all included with your meal as well. And we actually got Pog Juice. Pog Juice is a breakfast staple here at Walt Disney World. It's passion orange guava juice, and it is delectable. I absolutely love this. I don't usually drink juice or anything but water that much, um, but when there's pog juice on the menu, you must get it. Can't go wrong with the pog. It's so good. There's just something about sitting in the Polynesian, sipping on some pog. Ukulele playing behind you. It's even better when it's unlimited all you can drink pog juice. Here's a closer look at that breakfast skillet before we really get into it. Of course, I said breakfast. Oh my gosh, I meant appetizer skillet. Um, so of course we've got the nudes, we've got the pot stickers, those wangs, and then looks like some broccoli. A couple other veggies might be mixed in there, but mainly broccoli. I am gonna have some greens, but when I'm at Ohana, I'm here to specifically get the meat sweats. So we're just gonna have a little bit of salad, because I do enjoy that dressing. Salad. That dressing is so good. Nice citrus vinaigrette. I also really love the dressing over at Liberty Tree Tavern. It's like a citrus vinaigrette, kind of similar. Um, and it's good. I, I, I wouldn't fill up on the salad, though. There's too many other good things to enjoy. I'm gonna dive into these noodles. I also gotta make sure I secure some pot stickers. I could, I could just eat this right here all night. Noodles and pot stickers and be happy. Last time I was here, I made a video that I never posted seeing how many pot stickers I ate at Ohana dinner. And I'm pretty sure I got up to like 12. I love these things and I could eat so many of them. That's why I love coming to the Tambu Lounge and I'm just hanging out and just getting a bowl of them. They give you so many. They are so good. 
There's pork in there and they are so crispy. There's not as much of that garlic oil that they usually put on there. Either way, these are to die for. My favorite thing at Ohana for sure. Give them a shout out. To my class who's watching. Hi guys. I'm a Disney World. My mom's a teacher and apparently her students watch my videos. So shout out to you guys. You can give a shout out to Ryan since you, you felt left out. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, my kids at home. Thank you. Uh, Daddy will be home soon. Please go to bed. It's far past your bedtime. Sorry, the music is playing. I have to wrap up my speech. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mom, Dad, uh, dogs, every, everything. Okay. Your dogs are your kids you're that right. you're talking to. Correct. You shouted that out, them out twice. Shout, shout out Maya and Callie. There's a third. There's a third time I shout out my dogs. <laughs> Noodle time. The noodles are so good. They're so sweet. I think they're like a teriyaki sweet kind of sauce on there. Kohana noodles are life. All right, I'm gonna dive into one of the wings now. Let's take a bite. <laughs> These are hitting hard today. Usually I only eat like one wing because I really enjoy the noodles and pot stickers a lot more. But today, this is so good. Just like most of the stuff here, it has a sweet kind of sticky glaze on it. And it's a really good quality wing. You can see it almost looks like it's like smoked. They probably uh, smoke it over the fire right over there. It's a solid wing. Definitely better than the wings that I had at Orlando and former a couple days ago. And like I've mentioned multiple times, this is all you can eat family style. So if you want more of something, just ask them and they will bring it. We were finishing up our, our first platter over there and we needed some more noodles and some more pot stickers. So they brought the skillet of just noodles and pot stickers. And before I get into the meat, I need a couple more of these bad boys. That is the way. As we were enjoying our appetizers or sides, whatever you want to call them, the meats came out. And these meats always used to be served on skewers and they used to walk around and bring the skewers to your table and ask you if you wanted more. Now, since COVID, it's kind of just served in a bowl or whatever this thing is and brought to your table. We have the peel and eat shrimp right there. Here we have the chicken. It's bone-in chicken thighs with a chimichurri sauce. And then here, my favorite of the meats, the teriyaki steak. It is so juicy, so delicious. I love that little glaze that they put on top. Um, and I'm definitely gonna eat a ton of this steak. I will definitely be coming back for even more pot stickers. Um, but now, I think I'm gonna get into the meats and make a plate with some shrimp and some steak. Here is the plate, this is what I'm working with. We've got a piece of our steak right there, and this is a humongous piece of steak. Of course, if we want more, we can always get more. And then I got some of the peel and eat shrimp, which again, can always get some more of. I usually stay clear of the chicken. I don't enjoy it as much as I enjoy the shrimp and the steak, and I like the chicken wings better. So I usually have one or two of them and skip the chicken on, uh, that they bring you over here. I think it's just pretty average. It's not my favorite. So rather save room for other things. But Ryan, you're eating the chicken. Have you taken a bite yet? Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa. That's some strong chimichurri. And I'm not the biggest fan of chimichurri. You can kind of pick it off though. So yeah, it looks like it was just in one place, that chimichurri. It's very pesto-y, oh. if that makes sense. The chicken is good itself. Like, it's not just straight white meat chicken, which is a good sign. But the wings are better. The wings are better. The wings are superior. Yeah. I'm gonna cut into my steak here. Ooh. Too well done for me. No, it's okay. 
I'll still eat this piece. I'll, I'll probably ask for another piece to be a little bit more a less cooked. I like my steak medium rare. Um, so this is definitely too, too done for me, clearly. Um, we'll still try it out, see how it is. Um, yeah. When meat is, when steak is too overcooked, it loses a lot of its flavor and that juiciness. This, the um, sauce outside is still really good. It's a huge piece of steak, but definitely gonna have to get some more less cooked steak um, so I could give you guys the real honest review. So if if they bring you steak that's uh, not cooked enough or too cooked, you can always, of course, just ask for more. You can let them know, which I'll probably let the server know. I'd like a piece more medium rare. And while we wait for that, um, new steak i'm gonna dig into the shrimp here these are peel and eat so you do have to peel them yourself which i kind of wish they weren't because it makes your hands super dirty but still nonetheless it's really good the shrimp here is so good these are some nice like meaty pretty big shrimp too the seasoning it's perfect. Delicious. They do come apart pretty easily though. If you are wondering. You can easily take it apart, but all that work is worth it. These are some good shrimp. Alright, Ryan is forcing me to eat a piece of this chicken. He's literally look at him, he's forcing it. Forcing me to chicken. eat it. You better eat that chicken. Okay, okay. I'll try it out for you guys so I can give you my opinion. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. I don't know how to do this. Should I just, uh, it's not fat, it's skin. Yeah, that's fat. It's skin. All right. I'll just go for a bite right from here. It's actually pretty good. I'm glad I tried it, Ryan. Um, it has a nice smoky flavor. You can tell from that wood-fired grill over there. It has a nice smoky flavor, and unlike Ryan, I really do enjoy chimichurri sauce, so I enjoy the flavor from that chimichurri. Still, not my favorite. I do still prefer the wings, but it is better. It's definitely better than like the last time I had it here. I'll, I'll give it that. And it's good. I w just don't want to waste my appetite on this when I have the steak, the shrimp, the pot stickers, and the noodles. So we just got some more steak and mine definitely looks to be cooked more to my liking. So I'm excited for that. However, the other pieces in the bowl, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're beyond rare and they, they're raw. <laughs> This is totally uncooked. Uh, <laughs> so at least we got some pieces that, that, oh, that, and that's super well done. That's not super well done. No, it's not. Look at the other piece though. That's, that's, okay. It's okay, it's okay. It looks, it looks better in the camera, I must say, but that's the other piece of rice. I won't get it's salmonella raw. from this one. <laughs> yeah, this, this is raw. <laughs> so let's try a piece of my better cooked steak. So much better. So much more flavor. So much juicier. That's the Ohana I love. But I'm always coming back for more of these bad boys. I'm telling you. I could just make a meal at Ohana out of these pot stickers alone. They are the best. I also did eat a couple of these bad boys off camera, so. Oh my god, look. This pot sticker has a noodle on it. It's a two for one. We are just finishing up here. I'm getting stuffed, but I need to save some room for bread pudding. And something they started doing not too long ago, maybe a couple of years ago, is they actually let you get to-go boxes here at Ohana. They usually give you about one per person, so if you do have some leftover food like we do, you can bring it home with you in these to-go boxes and eat it later on for lunch like I'm probably gonna do in the next couple days. Got my little to-go box. I got some noodles stuffed in there, some steak and some veggies. You can fit a lot more in these things. 
than it looks. Like, this is this is huge. This is a full meal here. And we're just waiting on that bread to come. I'm um, gonna have to make some room because I am stuffed. Um, but hopefully I get a little bit more of an appetite before it comes. They also gave us these warm towels at the beginning of the meal. I'm now just getting to it to wa wash my hands. And they're a little cold now, but still a nice little delight for you to enjoy during your meal. I'm ready for bread pudding. That's a lot. I never have enough karma. Yeah. <laughs> bread pudding ASMR. But seriously, how good does that look? It's a banana co actually I don't think it's banana it anymore. It's a pineapple, it's pineapple coconut bread pudding. It used to have a bananas foster style caramel sauce that they poured on top. And the bread pudding used to be a lot better in former years. Um, Pre-COVID it was a lot better. It's still insanely delicious, but Back then, it was just like next level insane. And I am going to help myself. Don't mind if I do. I think we need a bit of a bigger spoon though to serve that is, this. That is extremely small. Put your I'll take closer. some of that. And I'll take some of this ice cream too. Yum. They give you bowls now. They used to give you plates, but you kind of like the bowls better. <laughs> Still so good. I wish the bread pudding was a little warmer. But still a top tier dessert. You have to save room for it. It's very difficult too with all that other stuff coming to your table. But always make sure you save room for bread pudding at Ohana. I am so so stuffed. If you don't leave Ohana stuffed, you're doing it wrong. I remember as a child, so we'd come here every family vacation, and we'd usually come here on the nights that um, Magic Kingdom had like extra magic hours or something. And my mom would always make us go to Magic Kingdom after eating at Ohana, and I'd be like, like stumbling out of here. <laughs> you had to like hold me up on the monorail one time. Do you not remember that? No, I specifically remember that one time where I almost thought I would have had to have to sit in the lobby because I couldn't go to Magic Kingdom. I ate so many pot stickers. You really don't remember that? I don't. <laughs> I remember it. Me and my cousin, we we ate too much. Selfie. Ow. Make sure you guys follow Ryan for the love of vlogging to see his behind the scenes vlog of our dinner. So we just finished up and I will say everything was a lot better than the last time I came. Last time I was so disappointed. I was like, you know what? Maybe we'll skip it the next couple of times and we haven't been back since. Um, I've been, been enjoying my fair share of noodles and pot stickers from the Tambu Lounge instead. But now it might be added back into my regular rotation of Disney dining. But let me know in the comments um, if you guys have Ohana as your one of your go-to family meals when you come to Disney World. And also let me know what your favorite thing at Ohana is. I know I said it a million times, but obviously mine is the pot stickers. And as much as I would love to chill in this beautiful poly lobby for the rest of the evening, Mi Madre is making me go to Magic Kingdom again. It's just like my childhood. Um, so I think we're gonna head into Magic and I'll say goodbye here. But as always, before I head out, I wanna give a quick shout out to my patrons, Kara, Angela, Jeremy, Barbara, Lisa, Paul, Misty, Abdullah, Ashley, and Lindsay. Thank you guys so much for joining my Patreon. If anyone else would like to join, I'm gonna put the link as always in the description below. But that's gonna do it for us tonight at the Poly. It is time to go over to Magic Kingdom, take the monorail over there, and ride a couple rides, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you guys so much for following along and go to Ohana, check it out, it was pretty good. I enjoyed my meal a lot better than last time. See you guys.